Hi there, my name is Shelley. In our last lesson on algebraic fractions, we learned how to simplify more advanced fractions by simplifying expressions that involved a difference of two squares. In this lesson, we are going to continue to learn about the simplification of more advanced fractions. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to simplify expressions that include trinomials. So far in this series, we have revised basic factorization. We also moved on to factorize a difference of two squares. And in this lesson, we are going to move on to factorizing trinomials. Now, what is a trinomial? Well, the word tri indicates three. Like a tricycle has three wheels. And the nomial indicates terms. So, a trinomial is an expression with three terms. Now, certain types of trinomials can be factorized. Let me show you. And as we did in our first lesson, I'm going to use a diagram to help us. And again, we will use something we know, a familiar tool, the area of a rectangle, to help us to see how a trinomial can be factorized. Here is the rectangle with sides x plus 4 and x plus 1. We are asked, what is the area of the rectangle? Well, we all know that the area of a rectangle is length times breadth, so it is x plus 4 multiplied by x plus 1. But how do we simplify this expression? Let's do it visually on the diagram. Here you will see that the length of the one side is x plus 4. So let's go and fill it in. This would be our x and this would be our 4. And here we have x plus 1. So let's call this x and this 1. So now we can see that this rectangle is divided up into four smaller rectangles. So let's just fill those in. And we should be able to see that working out the area of each individual rectangle is easier than working out the area of the whole rectangle. Can you determine the area of each rectangle? Let's start with the top left square. Now do you know why it's a square? It's because the sides are equal in length. So its area will be x squared. Now let's look at this rectangle. This length is 1, and we know that this length is x. So we multiply 1 by x, and we get 1x, so our area is x. Let's look at this one. This length is 4, and this length we know is x. So the total area for this rectangle would be 4 times x, which is 4x. And finally, this length is 4, and we know this length is 1, so the area would be 4. Now, what is the total area of the big rectangle? Well, if we add all the areas, we get x squared plus x plus 4x plus 4. And if we add our like terms up, we're going to get x squared plus 5x plus 4. And notice that this is a trinomial. So, if the sides are x plus 4 and x plus 1, then the area is x squared plus 5x plus 4. And therefore we can say when we multiply x plus 4 by x plus 1, you will get x squared plus 5x plus 4. And so we can call the x plus 4 and the x plus 1 our factors. And the x squared plus 5x plus 4 is our trinomial. Now let's do the opposite process. I'm going to give you the area of a rectangle and the length of one side, and you need to tell me what the other side would be. Look at this rectangle. The area is x squared plus 7x plus 12. One side is x plus 3 units. How long is the other side? Now this is quite interesting. I'm going to show you how to do it using the diagram. I roughly divide the one side into x units and the other one into three units. So this one is our x 
and this one is our 3. So let's divide the rectangle into two smaller rectangles. Now if we look at our expression, we should know that one of the areas should be x squared. So we need to create a square. So we measure off this length is x. So if we measure off this length to be the same, that would also be our x. And so then this length becomes our unknown length. So we have a question mark. And now lastly, we draw in our other line to create four smaller rectangles. Let's now fill in what we know. We know the area of two of the rectangles. The area of this square is x times x, which is x squared. And the area of this rectangle would be 3 multiplied by x, and that would give us 3x. Now, what do we know about this rectangle? Well, we know the length is x, but we are multiplying by an unknown length, so we don't know the area of that rectangle. So let's call it a star. And then what about this rectangle? We know this length is 3, but we also have an unknown length, so we don't know the area of that one, so let's call it a triangle. But now let's look at what we do know. We do know the total area of our rectangle. So we can say that the total area is the sum of the areas of the smaller rectangles. So we can write x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to x squared plus 3x plus star plus triangle. Now, if we go back to our smaller rectangle, we will notice that it's x multiplied by our unknown length. So our star actually contains a variable x, and we need to find out what is the number in front of that variable. In other words, 3x plus star has to equal 7x, and remember star contains an x. So 3x plus something equals 7x. We know that it's 4x. So we can go back to our diagram and we can write down our unknown is now 4. Now let's check what we've just done by working out the area of our last small rectangle. In other words, let's work out the value of this triangle. Now we know that this length is 3 and we've just worked out that this length is 4. So 3 multiplied by 4 would give us 12. And notice that that's correct, because over here we have a 12. So let's fill in our value. Our value of our triangle is 12. Now why did I show you all of this? What have we just done? So we have found this total length of our original rectangle. This original one was x plus 3, and this length now is x plus 4. So the total area of our rectangle is x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 4. And these are the factors of our original trinomial x squared plus 7x plus 12. So from this we can see how we can find the factors of a trinomial. Now in our next lesson we are going to continue with this, but I'm going to show you a shorter way to factorize a trinomial without a diagram. Right now though, you need to do your task. I'm going to give you certain information about a rectangle. Copy it down. One side of a rectangle is x plus 5. The area of the rectangle is x squared plus 4x minus 5. We do not know the length of the other side. So, your task is to find the length of the other side of the rectangle. You can use any method. Remember to join me for the next lesson where we will learn an easy way to factorize a trinomial without using a diagram. <laughs>